my name is Laura Strink and I'm a pediatric speech language pathologist here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And today I wanted to talk to you about four ways that you can work on teaching your child self-advocacy skills. The first thing you can do is model asking for permission. So this may look like, can I give you a hug or would you like a high five? Something else that you can do is model self-talk and normalize the use of tools. So this may look like, oh, I'm having trouble listening and my body feels really wiggly, so I'm gonna go get a wiggle cushion. When children hear you saying this and see you using tools, they're a lot more likely to do it themselves. Something else you can do is provide your child with options. So this may look like saying, your body is moving really fast. Would you like to go take a water break or would you like some hand squishes? Giving them the ability to choose the tool they're going to use helps with that agency and that sense of autonomy. Finally, you can provide your child with visuals and scripts that they can use in moments where they need to be self-advocating for themselves. A lot of the times, um, people in general, but especially children, will have a hard time accessing verbal speech when they are emotionally escalated. So giving them a visual tool like this one that they can reference can be really helpful with um, helping them with their self-advocacy in the moments that they may have heightened emotions. Um, something else is teaching them scripts that they can fall back on and use um, in those moments. And Neurodivergent Lou on Instagram has a really great list of scripts that she relies on as an autistic adult to communicate her needs to others that I would really recommend checking out. I hope that these tips and tricks help you feel more confident in supporting your child with learning those really important self-advocacy skills. Um, if you would like access to these tips and writing, check out our blog post.